What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're going to talk about the Giants Forum mod update list. What's on it, what we've got, everything like that. We've got three mods on this list that have already been released to the public. Do keep that in mind. Total on the list, we have 23 PC mods and 7 console mods. Very cool. Let's get right into it. First up, we have the Agrimass AT. Looks to be a cultivator with a roller on the back of it. We have a bell fork, very generic. We have the barn 16 by 8. We have the BSS P73SH. This is a trailer. Uh, looks to be from Farming Simulator 15 and Farming Simulator 17. It's a little bit of an older trailer, so if you like that kind of thing, this is for you. We also have a carport pack and a carport pack prefab which means that if you are a modder, you'll be able to use this, and if you are not a modder, you will be able to use this. We also have the Joskin Transpace 7000. This was released to us on Farming Simulator 17. It's a really, really good mod. Nice trailer. I do love the Joskin stuff. Anything that is like Joskin, Limkin, stuff like that, Flegel, I love using that equipment. I think it's all really, really good. We have the Karen Shed. So this is a shed. It looks very good. It's a green shed. It's got a whole lot of room under there. I wonder if you can fit a big bug. Big bug? Big bud. I wonder if you could fit a bit big bug. Moving on. We have the Lumetris, which is going to be a trailer. It looks like it's going to be a smaller tipper style trailer. It may have extensions on there too. So that is pretty cool. It's a nice trailer. I love the color on this. We also have the Lumetris Animal Trailer. Now, I have two versions of this pulled up. Uh, we've got one where the wheels are farther back and one where the wheels are a little bit farther forward. Not really sure which one we're going to be getting. Maybe we're getting both. Maybe it's the same one. It's just a different option. Either way, it is very cool that we're going to be gaining new stuff like this. It gives you guys the ability to do more roleplay. We also have the Lizard 20-foot Bell Trailer. This thing is sweet. We got this in Farm Sim 17 as well. I know a lot of people use this. It's just a good looking mod. I love how it looks like the wood is worn and everything like that. I wonder if we'll get a newer looking version as well. Only time will tell. We've got another lizard, the Lizard ETB 15,000. Now, the only thing that I've been able to find out about this and talking with some of you guys yesterday after the video was released is that this is a trailer of some sort, probably a tipper, but we will not know because nothing is coming up. So this is, as far as I'm concerned, a new mod for Farming Simulator 19. Some exciting news and one of the biggest mods on this list right now is the Man IT Runner. This thing, it's, a, it's an IT Runner truck. If you guys remember the 850 hook from Black Sheep Modding from 17, this is virtually like that, just in a mod truck form. It's going to be really cool, really awesome. I hope this comes to console really 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 pushing for this thing to come to console we have the manual l6000 this is going to be a bell fork bell spike all that good stuff it will be able to hold four square bells which is awesome maybe six round bells something like that i think they're about the same height this is pretty cool we have the one axle trailer returning from farming simulator 17. now this was made popular by clutch simulations on pacific northwest uh it's uh it's pretty cool let's be honest with you this trailer it's small but man it is awesome i i think we could hold water in one of them we could do fuel we have just an open trailer it's pretty cool we also have a poultry stable which again i'm assuming this is going to be a chicken pen and we have the roof light set now the roof light set is already out the roof light set is out for pc and it is a prefab so it's something that you can use on your tractors I guess if you want to put them on a building, you could do that as well. So if you guys are modders, anything like that, go for it. Use that. It's pretty cool. They look good. We have a safety weights pack, which I'm assuming is just going to be a weight pack. We have the Sapphire GE601. This has been released from Giants as well. I'm including pictures that we got from the Mod Hub today. This is a cool thing. It's one of my favorite mods from 17. Unfortunately, it's only for PC. Only for PC, not for console. So if you guys are playing on console... This is not going to be coming for you, at least not anytime soon, and that's unfortunate. But if you're on PC, I highly recommend you using this because it's a cool mod. Up next, we have the Shootamaker SW180. Now, I haven't been able to find an exact picture of the 180. I'm not sure if that is a thing or if that is going to be brand new model for Farm Sim 19, but 
nonetheless, it's just going to be a small forge trailer, um, probably four to six wheels on the back, something like that. It may be a pickup, but I don't think it's going to be a pickup. I think it's just going to be a normal wagon. We also have the Sio King Trailed Line Duo 1814. You may be looking at this going, don't we have that? Yeah, yeah, we got something like this, all right. <laughs> I'm curious on if this is going to be a smaller version, a larger version, or if it's just going to be an improved version. Something like that. Either way, I don't care. I just want it. I love new mods. Let's go. And we have the Stoll Super 1. This is going to be an update for the Stoll Super 1. I don't know what the update is. It's been a long time since we got the first one. So I'm interested to see how it's going to affect what we've got now. Stay tuned. This is going to be cool. Those are all of the PC mods. Moving on to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, the console mods. We have the Amazon T-Pack. This is going to be a uh, roller type. It's got wheels on it. It's not actually a roller. It's got just, it rolls with your tractor, hooks up with the uh, three-point hitch or trailer hitch, stuff like that. You can put weights on it. Kind of makes it a little bit easier. And, and someone mentioned yesterday that you use this to ease the tension on your three-point linkage or on your linkage in the back or in the front rather, when hooking up things. So if this is something that you need, if this is something that you're looking for, if you're wanting to play a little more realistic, go for it because this is the mod for you. We have the high level rack pick from Giants. Why did I say that? That's my notes. <laughs> pick from Giants, there you go. The picture that you guys are seeing is from the Mod Hub. This is out now for console and on uh, PC. Yes, forgot my words. It is out for console and PC. So if this is something that you wanna add to your farm, go for it. It is available right now. We also have the homemade IBC front tank. Uh, you guys remember this from Farming Simulator 19, unless you didn't play Farm Sim 19, in which case, well, I guess you don't, do you? This is a cool, cool mod. It works perfect. At least it did in 17. No issues whatsoever. It's a good mod. Uh, I held a little over 2,000 liters of water, I believe it was. Just a nice mod. Again, I have nothing bad to say about this thing. It works. It's perfect. Now, I know that I said the Man IT Runner was one of the best mods on this list. The mod I'm getting ready to read off to you guys is the best mod on this list. Well, with the exception of a map, of course. But this is the Horsh Pack. I am assuming this is going to be the pack that we got from Farming Simulator 17. If you played that, you know that that pack was epic. It was so epic. Had all kinds of stuff in it. We ended up getting two tractors. We got a sprayer. Sprayer, <laughs> sprayer was very fast. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff to move water, to move uh, seeds. We got other uh, spreaders. We got like this spreader had like a 36 meter spread on it. Absolutely crazy. We got new cedars, new planters, new cultivators, slurry tanks. The, it was endless. Well, I say it was endless. There was what, 15 mods, something like that. It was a great, great pack. It was a Hor Horse Aggravation Vehicles pack or pack slash vehicles is what it was called for then i don't see us getting the map that came with that anytime soon so do keep a lookout for this this is going to be epic absolutely epic i'm so excited for this we have the Cokerling trio 300 m this has been released as well this was released for farming simulator 19 on all platforms uh, pc mac playstation 4 xbox one all of the above. If you want to use it, go for it. It's out now. Go get it. Next, but not the very last one, is the placeable filling stations. Now, these are going to be basically anything that you can get in pallet form. They will be a filling station. And I'm so, so excited for that. It's going to be awesome. Right now, I'm on Mercury Farm, so I have no need for any of this. i got to be honest with you. What is on Mercury Farms and what Jim has brought in is perfect. Absolutely perfect and I would not want to use anything else. But if you're not playing on Mercury Farms, you're gonna need something like this, so I can't wait for this to come out. Speaking of Mercury Farms, it is out. The update is out for Mercury Farms. If you guys are playing on there and you had some issues with all kind, I mean, there was, the, the issue list was not endless by any means, but nonetheless, there was an issue with uh, saving and reloading and that kind of thing gonna go over the changelog for you fixed an issue of being stuck on the loading screen there you go fixed placing placeables in farm manager mode fixed manure and slurry buy point at the livestock market fixed various other issues and please note that farm manager mode will require a new game save so if you were playing in farm manager mode 
go ahead and delete it because you're going to need to start a new game save to make everything work properly. If you're in the other ones, don't worry about it. I'm in New Farmer on mine. I did not have to do anything. Everything loaded up perfect. And with all that being said, we've got 184 mods waiting to be tested on top of the list that we had today. So well over, well over uh, 200 mods. It's going to be crazy. Well, guys, that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. All right, please subscribe if you have any questions. Let me know down in the comment section down below. That being said, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.